March of 2014, making Pittsburgh his third team since entering the NFL as the seventh overall pick in the 2009 draft. We all remember that. We're thinking, what are, what are you thinking, Raiders? Why would you draft him? Was it Julio Jones that was drafted after him? Oh, man, I, I don't remember. Uh, of course, Hayward Bay never fulfilled his expectations in Oakland. He averaged 517 receiving yards in four seasons with the Raiders and played one season with the Indianapolis Colts before signing with the Steelers. And speaking of the Indianapolis Colts, I don't like this approach by the Colts management. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts and coach and head coach, uh, co- ah, Lord, back up. Chuck Pagano will uh, not reach a deal on a contract extension before the season, according to a media report. The two sources briefed on the situation and told NFL.com that the team will allow Pagano to see out the final year of his four-year contract he signed in 2012. Pagano missed most of the 2012 season to battle leukemia. What he said in a statement he has given him a perspective on the contract situation, saying, quote, Cancer taught me to be thankful for today. All I'm concentrating on is today, then tomorrow. My focus right now is on the draft, bringing in players that can help us continue to grow, get better, and continue to build the monster. I look forward to coaching the Colts this season and for many years to come. Indianapolis has made the playoffs in each of Pagano's three seasons, going 11-5 last season and reaching the AFC Championship game, which... You know, obviously they got crushed to the Patriots 45-7, to but got to look at the positives. Playoffs every single year without Peyton Manning, of course, having Andrew Luck, uh, because, you know, people got to bring that up with Peyton. Um, I don't like this. You know, I understand if, if they're worried about health, I, I'd get over it by now. I mean, it's been three, it's been three years, so... Uh, and if not, just, you know, give them some leeway, get them another two-year extension, you know, at the, at the minimum. Um, so he doesn't have to play. I mean, he's already got stress on everything else. Why have, you know, I know he's taking the positive side. He's saying the right things, but still having the stress of knowing that what if they go into slump, they start off the season three and five, then he's got to start thinking, okay, if we can't turn this, you know, this ship around, I am going to be out of a job, you know, pretty soon. And, you know, most likely the Browns or <laughs> Bill, no, not the Bills anymore. Maybe the Jets. Someone else would pick him up for sure. He would have another coaching job. But still, I mean, he's he has a good thing going with the Colts. There's no need for the stress of what's going to happen next year. I know, again, he said what's focused on today, and and that's awesome. But your mind's going to slip, so, you know, a little bit. And you might start thinking that after a 3-5 and five start, what are we going to be doing? So I don't know. Um, I, I, and plus, I mean, he's been nothing but good for the Colts. So why not? I mean, if anything, he's built that community of the Colts and the fan base and, and the players together because of what he's gone, th- what he's been through. So, you know, give him a two year extra you know, extension and, and, and then go from there. If, if things don't work out after this season and the season after that, whatever, then move on. But to, to just flat out come out, and say, you know what, you're playing on your the first contract that we gave you. You're playing out your last year and then we'll go from there. I mean, who you expect to get after him? I don't know. I don't like that approach. I feel like that's very disrespectful to Coach Pagano and what he's already given to the to the Colts and to Indianapolis. And for them to do that, no, that's, that, that's wrong. Move on. The, the Chicago Bears signed former Jacksonville Jaguars cornerback Allen Ball to a one-year contract, the team announced Friday. Earlier in free agency signing period, it appeared that Allen Ball would be headed to the Carolina Panthers, with sources telling ESPN.com that he agreed to a deal uh, with the team, but he ended up leaving his visit to Charlotte without a contract. Uh, Alan Ball, who t- turns 30 on March 29th, hey, that's tomorrow. Happy early birthday, Alan Ball. Uh, was drafted by the Cowboys in the seventh round in 2007. He started seven games for the ja- uh, for the Jaguars last season before suffering a biceps injury and being placed on injured reserve. He had 22 tackles, one interception, and three pass breakups before getting hurt. Uh, the Jaguars sa- signed Ball to a two-year, $1.6 million contract in 2013, and he immediately became the team's best cornerback. He led the team with 14 pass breakups and two interceptions in his first season with the team. Uh, his best season, though, and, and it's, you know, back in the day, doesn't really matter, but uh, came in 2010 with the Dallas Cowboys where he started 16 games. 
Made 45 tackles, broke up six passes, and intercepted two of them. However, just after, well, excuse me. However, he started just two games in 2011, and his contract was not renewed. Um, Minnesota Vikings linebacker Chad Greenway uh, has agreed to a pay cut that will give him that will give Minnesota more than three million dollars in salary cap space. Greenway's base salary for 2015. Uh, the final year of his contract with Minnesota has been reduced from $7 million to $3.4 million. Greenway will receive, though, $1 million in guaranteed and can make up six to 600000 from various bonuses, according to the source. The deal, the restructured deal, creates three point. I see this is ridiculous. Three point two two five. I mean, is, is that really necessary? I guess it is. I guess it is. Uh, in cap space for the Vikings, according to a source, Greenway previously... Would have counted for eight point eight million against Minnesota salary cap. So huge thing in Greenway, even though he's getting older, he's thirty two years old. Uh, you know, wants to finish his career in Minnesota, and so does uh, general manager uh, Rick Spielman. He wants him to stay. Check this out, though. Uh, he's he's a two time Pro Bowler, of course, with in, in his entire eight year career with the Vikings. Look at this. Just look at this. Just listen to this. Greenway recorded a career low. This again, career low, 93 tackles, still was tied second most for the team last season, despite appearing in just 12 games. He missed four more games, and obviously it would have added up. It marked the first time since 2009 that Greenway failed to record at least 100 tackles. I'm telling you, that guy is something special. He, he, you know, everybody talks about all these other linebackers. Why don't we talk about Greenway? That guy is a stud out there. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings again made news by signing cornerback Terrence Newman. This was longly, you know, rumored for for such a long time because Terrence Newman being with Mike Zimmer for his entire career, uh, except for last season, this was, you know, okay, he, he's got to end up going there, uh, and, and which now they did. Uh, have agreed to a one-year contract as mu- uh, worth as much as $2.5 million, including 750000 guaranteed. Um, the Vikings announced a deal yesterday with Newman, who spent the past three years with Cincinnati and after nine with Dallas. Zimmer entering the second season with Minnesota was Newman's defensive coordinator for six years, uh, four with the Cowboys and two with the Bengals. Um, Let's see. Uh, the production and stability of the co- at cornerback for the Vikings was better in 2014, but it's still a position uh, position where they can use more depth with Xavier Rhodes, you know, growing Captain Merlin, uh, Merlin cannot speak, and Josh Robinson, uh, their leading returners. And Newman, I mean, honestly, he's been reliable. Average 15 games per season. Uh, so a, a good pickup for for the Vikings and should give them some chemistry. And also Xavier Rhodes being what a second year pro now, uh, and him learning from Captain Merlin and also uh, Terrence Newman. It will be huge for his knowledge of the game and also getting better at the game. Uh, the Carolina Panthers claimed former San Francisco 49ers offensive tackle Jonathan Martin uh, off waivers yet uh, for, yeah yesterday. Martin, who was waived by the 49ers on Thursday, was a player at the center of Richie Incognito, the bullying, stupid bully scandal that was so overplayed and over-talked about. Uh, I didn't even talk about it on my show. That's how annoying it was. Uh, <laughs> Martin played only one season for San Francisco and appearing in 15 games, uh, starting nine at right tackle. He was set to uh, count roughly $1 million against the 2015 salary cap, which now the Panthers will have to pick up. Um, Martin spent his first two NFL seasons with Miami before leaving in October 2013 because of the scandal and all that blah, blah, blah mess. (laughs) Santana Moss will turn 36 this offseason, but that's not stopping Jay Gruden for possibly getting Santana Moss back with the Redskins. Uh, Santana Moss only caught 10 passes last season and is not under contract with any team, but Jay Gruden, I say John, I meant to say Jay, uh, who coached Moss in Washington last season, uh, says the team would be open to bring Moss back for another year saying, quote, you know what? I could always play with Santana. Uh, Santana is a great person. He's great in the locker room for us. He knows all the positions. I know he's going to be in great shape. I would not hesitate one bit to call him. 
why haven't you? You know, just saying. Uh, the Jets are sending some key decision makers to work out Oregon quarterback Marcus Mariota, but the team drafting ahead of him may take Mariota before the Jets at number six uh, if they get the chance. Washington Redskins, which have the fifth overall pick, plans to bring in Mariota to the team's headquarters in Ashburn, Virginia, which, hey, I checked out the demographics for my show. Shout out to everybody in ha- uh, Ashburn. I got a couple of views out of there. You know, good, a good percentage from Ashburn. Shout out. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> if Washington drafts him, that would be a very strong sign that the team is preparing to move on from quarterback Robert Griffin III. So far, the team hasn't decided whether to pick up the fifth-year option on Griffin's contract, which means he would be a free agent come next March. Uh, in addition to the team's dra- high in the draft that may take Mariota, the Chargers have shown interest and ex- are expected to work him out April 15th. It seems unlikely that the Mariota would still be available uh, with the 17th overall pick for the Chargers. But with only one more season left on Phillip Rivers' contract and his you know, uncertainty about playing you know, possibly in L.A. or wherever, San Diego could trade Phillip Rivers to move up and get Marcus Mariota, and, and I, I'm torn. Honestly, I, I truly am. I don't like even if Rivers, if you know, honestly, he's gonna be honest. And if he doesn't feel comfortable with being in San Diego or being in LA, possibly one, we don't even know. So that was stupid for him to say it, but it was really stupid for him to come out in the public to say that. That's not good when your franchise quarterback ha- is basically going out and saying there's he's uncertain. You know, I understand contract situation or whatever. Don't bring it up, man. Don't bring it up. And and if it is asked to you, then don't say you are uncertain about it. Just say, you know, we're going to look forward to blah, blah, blah. You know, make up something. Just to pass it on. That was really stupid of him to go out and say that. So, I don't know. Mike McCoy, he won with Tim Tebow. Not saying that Tim Tebow and Mariota are the same, but, I mean... They are college quarterbacks, even though Tim Tebow did win in the NFL, which I hope Tebow gets somewhere. I don't know if McCoy says so many good things about Tebow. Why don't the Chargers sign him as a backup? We don't have a backup QB. Let's get Tim Tebow on the roster. Um, I'm kind of torn between it. I would love to see Mariota if McCoy agrees to switch up the offense. The Chargers offense is way too boring. I, I mean, it's not Phillip's fault. It's just it's boring. It's very boring. And I'm not saying we have to switch all the way over to what Oregon tries to run or what Chip Kelly tries to do. No, it's just adapt the game a little bit. You know, quicker throws, changing some things out. And I don't know what the big deal is about spreading out the field from college football to the NFL. I mean, you're going to be successful either way. Uh, I'm not a coach or anything, but I'm just saying I I think some of the college game is is being adapted to the well, I mean obviously it is being adapted to the NFL but I think a lot of a lot more of it should be. So if the Chargers do that then good. If they try to keep the same old offense they've had since like two since 2006 and they put Mario in there, yeah, we're going to definitely fail. Absolutely. Um but I I wouldn't mind seeing Mario to wear number 8 and in the Chargers uniform. That that wouldn't be bad at all. Uh, the Green Bay Packers may use pistol formation on a regular basis. Last year, a late-season calf injury to Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers forced coach Mike McCarthy to rely at times on the pistol formation, which, for people that don't know, it is up forward a little bit from the shotgun. So it's if you think of a, if you have a court, three quarterbacks, you have one under center, you have one in shotgun, all right, the pistol formation, the quarterback is right in the middle from the center and the shotgun position. And that's all it is. I'm sure you guys knew it, but in case you didn't. Uh, McCarthy plans to use it more in 2015, saying, quote, I like the pistol. Uh, I think there's a lot of value regardless of the injury to Aaron. I know he likes it. There's a place for it year-round in your offense. I thought I heard him say he wasn't going to deal with the offense anymore, but... They're going to use it. I, it. It's good with me. They they did it a lot, and it it was it was working for him. Uh, free agent linebacker Rolando McLean remains unsigned, and from all indications, if he's going to return to Dallas, it'd be for a low cost, 
low-risk contract. The Dallas Morning News reports that the Cowboys